Good afternoon, my name's Braden Ramp from Second Life. And today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a hack on how to get better normal maps into Blender from ZBrush. Uh, as we can see on screen, I've, I've still got this uh, Centurion style uh, outfit on my desktop. Uh, and when I try and export it as a normal map, for the chest plate it comes across in blender very very lackluster so there's another way uh, and you can use this method for exporting your textures with the matcap materials from zbrush so right what i'm going to do to start with is i've selected the the chest plate i'm going to move down and first of all i'll make sure that the uv map is the right way uh, the orientation is the right way the reason this being is because light uh, affects it differently so if it's upside down anything that's looking out will look in and, and vice versa so I'm just going to morph my UV uh, to check to make sure that it's the right way and for me it's it's great so now I've got that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and uh, first of all, I will lower my geometry all the way down. I will then go down to displacement map. And I'll ask it to create a displacement map. So there we go. We have a displacement map. I can then clone that displacement map and it will throw it up there in the alphas. Right. So from now that's all we need to do with that so we'll go up to preferences and we'll reinitialize ZBrush right so now it's been reinitialized what we can do is we can set up our, our canvas uh, for creating a displacement uh, a yeah a displacement map that will be used to hold our uh, our texture so if we go up to document and we turn off the range and we then turn off proportional and we set our canvas size I'm going to set it and resize it to 1024 you obviously could do 512 or 2048 or whatever you want to you want to do with it so I'm just going to make sure that it's uh, it's nice and square right so from this what you need to do is you need to go and create a plane draw it onto your canvas you can use the shift to square up as much as uh, as much as possible like so go into edit mode and then what you need to do is make it a poly mesh so you click make poly mesh 3d you then need to increase the amount of polygons uh, within this uh, within this plane so if you go to geometry turn off smoothing and divide you can normally divide five or six times uh, I like to go up to about four million polys just to make it nice and smooth so there we go total points four million uh, I'm then going to make sure that it is framed in the center like so and then I can go back down to my displacement map and I can actually import the displacement map that I generated. So we're just waiting for that to, uh, to go. We apply displacement map. There we go. Right, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's applied the displacement map from your model onto a plane in the correct orientation. Now, at this stage, you can apply any ZBrush map cap material to that. Uh, so, for example, if we was to uh, could apply this bronze, like so. Uh, but what I'm going to do is there's one of the materials, which is a normal RGB material. So we can apply that. And that is actually how it comes out as a normal map. So looking at that, great effect quite uh, quite heavy so then we can go up to our document and we can export that uh, mat cap so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in my normals 
and I'll save it as a bitmap so Blender can see it straight away. And I'm going to put it in and call it what I want it to have. So I'm going to save that. Okay. Now at this stage, we don't need anything else in ZBrush. So we're going to go over to Blender. And as you can see, there's the model that I created uh, without really any much detailing on it. So what we need to do, at the moment, this is in GLSL mode, so there won't be any render times. So we can go in, we can create a new texture. We change it from clouds, change it to image or movie. And we can open up and we can bring in our, our normal map that we created. Let's scroll down in image sampling, click on normal map. Scroll down further, change your mapping from generated to UV. And then turn off the color and turn on geometry. Now, as you can see, it's intensified it quite heavily. So you will have to crank it down somewhat uh, to a point where you, you quite like it. Uh, if you go up full, it can be quite over the top or all the way down. Obviously, it's in a negative, so everything will be pushed out rather than uh, recessed in this example. Uh, to show you the difference between the two, I do have a standard normal map of a previous stage that I did with this. So if I turn off this normal map and I turn on the original one, as you can see, the, the, the amount of definition that's there is quite weak. If you try and burn that, it will hardly be noticeable. And if you try and increase or decrease the geometry, uh, it's really not going to be that noticeable. Uh, as you can see, at the present moment, it's on one, but increasing it to five makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. It's already maxed out. Uh, so that's a little trick. Uh, I hope you find it useful. As I say, you can use it on any kind of matte cap material from ZBrush, uh, just really just by creating a displacement map. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, either on my YouTube channel or the Snatch blog, or indeed on Second Life as Braden Rent. I'd like to hope you all have a nice evening, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.